I've lived here for most of my life. Um, I live in a pretty rural area, really can't get any kind of easy Wi-Fi connection here. Uh, and we've kind of known that my whole life, so we've never had Wi-Fi or anything at my house. Whenever I had to stay here because of everything going on, I, was, I knew that like this wasn't going to work because I need Wi-Fi to do like Zoom calls and stuff. So I think first, Rice sent me a tablet that has a hotspot on it. And that didn't work because the data connection and stuff here is still pretty bad. <laughs> so Rice helped me out and got an internet company come out here and they ended up having to put a 20 foot pole on top of my house <laughs> to be able to reach the signal. They got it up that high so that um, it could go over the tree line and everything to be able to reach the connection. So that's how tall it had to be for me to get Wi-Fi out here. So I'm on the digital affairs committee I'm a trustee and I'm on the Digital Affairs Committee. And I sent her, and I, it occurred to me that a lot of the kids wouldn't have all of the computers, headphones, whatever they needed to do all the schoolwork remotely. And I just said, look, if, they're, if they need, you know, if there's kids that can't afford all this stuff, then I was happy to help and, and I, think, I think we covered all the needs. It has made such a difference. I'm a first generation low income student and my dad was actually laid off from his job of 17 years a few months ago. And so we were really not at a place to where we could take on this kind of expense right now. And so my family was definitely really worried about it because it's also it's so important that we can all stay home during this time of crisis. And so I knew I needed to stay home, but I also needed to do school. And it was definitely a stress on everyone in my family for a little while because I mean, if I can't do a class, we didn't know what was going to happen. But so I'd say you know, to Brian Patterson, donor, and everyone who helped me from Rise from financial aid office to controller and from the OIT. So many different people were so responsive and so helpful and it has made a, a huge, huge difference. And I would, I don't know what I would do without all of y'all's help because it would literally be impossible for me to do my classes. There's an army of people doing a lot of stuff and I, you know, but I was glad to do what I did. I was glad to help the kids that couldn't, didn't have all of the uh, technical resources that they needed to keep up with the school. So. I'm, Please to help. And I am just so grateful to be at a school where they they care so much and they, we have a community that cares so much about our students and about everyone's different situations. And even when other people, I'm sure, had a lot going on in their personal lives too with everything going on and they were taking the time out to help me and my family. And I know a lot of other students that were in similar positions to me. And so it really, really meant a lot and it's helped us so much. You're measured more by how you deal with the most difficult times than you than how you deal with the easy times. 